Hi! Last but not least, my beautiful Sagittarius is my fire signs. Okay, so I have my spirit deck, I have my oceanic tarot, my who oracle, my romance angels, and my Bodhi tarot. Oh, what should we start with? Let's start with the Bodhi tarot. Why not? This deck is so hard to shuffle, so bear with me while I just rock myself real quick, <laughs> Sagittarius. All right, so if you are a past subscriber, welcome back to my channel. If you are a new subscriber, know that all of my readings are timeless, and whenever you catch this reading, it is absolutely for you. I have done five readings tonight, so I am extremely tired. So if my energy is off, you know why. This chair isn't very comfortable either, so I am ready to call it a, a night and be done with readings now. Okay. Being grateful for all that we have leads our hearts to overflow with abundance. Give thanks for the things you have and watch your life change. Woo! Sagittarius. So, Spirit wants you to have a little bit of attitude of gratitude. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so, the more you say thank you, the more you'll have reasons to say thank you, right? Okay. Second card says, a twin flame connection is in or entering your life. This could be a friend or a lover. Either way, this connection may be triggering as they are a reflection of yourself. Ooh-wee, Sag. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> You're one of the, the signs this month that is going to be meeting your twin flame. Leo was also one of them that um, they got that card. And Libra, I believe. There was another sign that got it too. Maybe it was, I think it was Pisces. I don't know. Okay. Tis, this, tis the month for twins. Okay. Follow your heart instead of your head in this situation. This will lead you to the outcome you truly desire. So it's time to put your head away and follow this Sagittarius. This right here. This. <laughs> Spirit is saying so. You are abundant in all areas of your life because love is influencing your decisions. So continue to let love guide you and then that will create more abundance for you. It says you're abundant in all areas of life because you are letting love guide you, my beautiful Sag. All right, we're gonna go into your tarot. And then we'll do, I think, your spirit message and your romance angels. And then we'll we'll leave off with the who oracle like we always do. We're going to jump right into your main message, though. Why is that this way? That's so weird. I don't know. Okay. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. What do we got for Sagittarius, please? We're going to do eight cards for Sagittarius, please. Eight cards, please. We have the Hermit, Contemplation. What are you contemplating right now? What are you thinking about? Drama. You're thinking about drama. I've seen a card flip, and i got to figure out where it was. I've seen it. Where did it go? weird <laughs> the next card we got literally says knight of swords drama i'm like what are you contemplating <laughs> the next card is drama so for some of you you're trying to figure out a way to avoid some upcoming drama that's going to be coming into your love life take it out resonates that's just what spirit's saying Your love life is going to be making a huge transformation. And it's because, you know, that, that old saying, as above, so with, as above, so below, as within, so without. 
you have transformed yourself from the inside out. And so therefore your love life has to completely transform as well. It has to mirror what you're doing. So some of you are feeling extremely restricted by something right now in your love life. Take it how it resonates. Seven of Cups, we have possibilities. So you have options. You're just not seeing them right now. Because you have this energy of having the blindfolds on. Like holding yourself back. The Eight of Swords is the card of the woman and she's bound like this. And there's all these swords around her. She's got a blindfold on. But if she just takes the blindfold off, she can see where she's going, right? She can see that the swords aren't, there's no real danger. It's just in her head, right? Two more, please. Wow, we have two sevens. We have seven of cups. And then we have seven of pentacles, which is potential. Yeah, one second. We have a side energy card that popped out, so we're going to take it one second. Okay, sorry about that, Sag. Um, and sorry for any background noise. Okay, so... We had a side energy card that popped out and the side energy card was this, the queen of pentacles. Now this is the energy of a divine feminine. Take it how it resonates. It's not about sex or it's not about gender, but it's the energy of a divine feminine who's very seductive, very kind. Um, she would be very independent. The queen of pentacles represents a woman who is financially stable in her own right. Um, because she works hard. Um, the energy coming from her is very sensual, very kind, very sweet. So take that how it resonates. This person would have a very beautiful heart. Um, all right, so we're going to go over these cards. We got this card first, which is the Hermit, and it says Contemplation. So... I feel like you've been doing a lot of thinking. There's something in your love life right now that you're thinking over. And it has to do with some type of drama surrounding your love life. This is the Knight of Swords. And with the Knight of Swords always comes energy of blah, 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 blah. blah. <laughs> drama. And, you know, just a lot of chaotic energy. We don't want that in your love life. But you've done a lot of this. Death, transformation, transformation. So like I said, the energy of as above, so below. You've transformed yourself and your energy. So therefore your love life now has to reflect that. Okay? But something is going on in your love life that is making you feel restricted. And the thing is, Spirit is saying, you have lots of possibilities. Seven of Cups is possibilities. Then we have Seven of Pentacles which says potential, but I feel like you are restricting yourself. You are restricting yourself. And it's because you're in this energy of feeling like you're trapped, but the trap is only in your mind. Does that make sense? We also have six of swords, which shows me that all of this death and transformation, you learned a lot from whatever has been going on right now in your love life. And those lessons are bringing you to a uh, period of extreme calm and acceptance of this moment right now in your love life. Everything that you went through has brought you to this moment. It was all divinely orchestrated and guided. Then we have Ace of Swords, which says victory. Now beware of the Ace of Swords because the Ace of Swords is also about using a lot of this and not a lot of this. So 
it says victory, but what victory are you really winning? Is it the victory of the head of the heart? Because if that's the case, that's not really a victory. The heart should always win out, Sagittarius. Always. So keep an eye out for these potentials and these possibilities and all of these options because they're going to be coming in and very quickly. And the Ace of Swords is about, you know, allowing yourself to see past all the bullshit to clarity. It's being able to see what it is that you truly need to be happy. We have the Wheel of Fortune, which is on the bottom of the deck. I felt guided to pull it for you. It means destiny. So there, this is a fated and destined situation. It's your twin soul. Okay. I got to hurry this reading along because people are going to start getting up and around and me coming in. And so we got to wrap this up. I'm going to do your spirit message. And then we got your, whoa, why is this deck doing this? Um, your romance angels and then your who oracle. So, let's see. Ready? Four cards. We have gray eyes. Cancer. So, cancer sign possible water sign with gray eyes tiger <laughs> someone with a very feisty 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 personality maybe they're a water tiger the chinese water sign i don't know aries so very fire signy vibes tiger aries those came out together and then we have gray eyes and we have cancer so your person possibly has cancer in their chart aries in their chart um who knows this could be your energy as well like i say always say the energies are very intertwined take those messages how they resonate spirit wants you to know those are the most important things that spirit wants you to know right now all right beautiful um we're going to do the romance angels. Ooh, my back is really starting to hurt. I got to be done. <laughs> I got to tell you to get out of my house soon, Sagittarius. I did a little workout today, and then I've also um, been sitting here for a while. So we're going to wrap this up, okay? Let's do, let's do your romance angels and then your who oracle. And if you want to purchase a reading with me, all you have to do is click on that little arrow and all of my prices are in the description box. I will have new products in my Etsy shop the end of June. So everything right now is on sale half off because I'm trying to get rid of my old inventory. Okay, four cards for Sag. Whoa, so religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and your spiritual path. Do not let your love life be influenced by your... I mean, do not let it affect your love life in a negative way. But it feels to me like you're looking for someone who's more spiritual and that resonates with your spiritual um, path. Does that make sense? <clears throat> One more, please. Okay, so there's this one. Religious factors. What does that say? We have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So like I said, this is a deep soul connection. It doesn't feel like someone from your past past. This feels like two old souls who have connected and your soul is going to be instantly sparked. It's going to be a soul spark recognition. You guys have had many lives together, especially if this is your twin flame, like the card was saying. You'll feel it immediately upon meeting this person. All right. See, you had many lives together. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So, one second. Okay. So, Spirit is telling you right now, it's time to take a step back. 
and focus on what it is that you want in your love life. Because when this deep connection comes in, it's going to be very easy to feel overwhelmed, Sagittarius. You're going to need to take a step back and take a breather and take as much time as you need to discover what it is that you need to feel grounded when all of these feelings start arising. And they will, <laughs> believe me. This could also mean a retreat with your person. I mean, it shows a couple walking, so... All right, and then we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So allowing yourself to just be, Sagittarius, just be, just be in the moment really makes you more attractive to everyone around you. It's just going to bring people into you like a magnet. And you're so lovable anyway, so. <laughs> All right, we're going to do your last who oracle. And then we're going to call this a reading. It's been a beautiful reading so far. You know, it is extremely rare for someone to have gray eyes as well. So that's pretty magical in itself. Last four cards for Sagittarius, please. What do you want them to know, Spirit? Intelligent. Wow. <laughs> and there's a dolphin on this card. Look. I mean, the reason for that is dolphins are extremely intelligent. Dolphins also um, are a synchronicity for me because, you know, I've had a lot of past lives in Lemuria. And during those lifetimes in Lemuria, I learned dolphin language. And this card flew out. <laughs> Sexual. <clears throat> Just got steamy. <laughs> Sag. So your person is very sexual, or you are. Take it out, it resonates. You're intelligent, or your person is intelligent. This also flew out. They are just throwing cards out for you. Green thumb. So you like to plant. They like to plant. <clears throat> Take it out, it resonates. I need two more spirit. Oh my God, stop. <clears throat> they just keep on throwing out, throw out more cards, and I really got to wrap this up. <laughs> I cannot do this, spirit. I have to... I have to wrap it up. I appreciate it so much. They just threw out another card. Oh, y'all are going to make me mad. Okay. Two more, please. Or one more, I'm sorry. Wait. Okay. I usually take four of these. <clears throat> one more, please. They just threw out those other ones as side energies, so. Okay, so we have intelligent. So your person, if you're seeing someone right now, or if you're single, these are traits you're gonna wanna look out for. Intelligent, problem solver. This came out back to back. They're an intelligent problem solver. So you won't have any issues figuring out conflicts and problems together, right? You have air sign. So what's that? Like Libra, Aquarius. What are the other air signs? I don't even know. <laughs> Gemini. Yeah. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. We have travel and adventure. So you guys are going to have lots of fun together. The, your person likes to travel. They're adventurous. All right. And sexual. Hmm. That's fun. That's always fun, right? Your person is extremely sexual or you're sexual. Either way, there's a lot of sexual energy. <laughs> um, feels like your person. And then green thumb. So you're probably going to be fucking them in the garden. All right, that's it, Sagittarius. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Get out of my house. My catchphrase now is going to be used on you, Sagittarius. Get out of my house. We're done. I love you. You want to book a reading, you know what to do. Click on the little arrow. All of my prices are in the description box. Um, for those of you that tip me, thank you. For those of you that have joined my Patreon, thank you even more. I will not be doing the sexual energy reads for April because I need to get caught up because, you know, I was ill. So thank you for being so patient about that. I love you guys. I will start the sexual energy reads for May, though, ASAP. So those will be up on my Patreon for you guys really soon. Um, if you'd like to tip me, there's two links for that in the description box below. 
Um, I have PayPal and Cash App. Please check out my little guy's channel. He busts his butt to create content for you guys. And he's the only featured channel on my channel as well. And I will be having new items in my Etsy shop um, at the end of June. Lots of really new exciting things happening in May and June. Lots of announcements. It's going to be popping this spring and this summer. And hopefully I'm going to be moving soon, you guys. I have saved up a lot of money and I'm going to be moving soon, guys. I just don't know when yet. All right, um, I'm looking. I'm actively looking for a home. So if you guys have a really nice, big five-bedroom house that <laughs> you want to let me know, I'm in the market for a home. Okay, I love you guys. Bye.